You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, GH fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we have finally got the return date for Steve Burton as Jason Morgan, and it's in just a few weeks. Plus, Burton teased some info about his return storyline, and fans are really excited about it. We'll dig in, but first, please click subscribe. So it was on January 4th, 2024, that ABC Daytime absolutely floored General Hospital fans with the shocking news that they'd rehired Steve Burton to play Jason Morgan. He has been gone since 2021 because of the vaccine mandate that he disagreed with, but now the mandate is gone and Burton is back. I thought that it might happen, even though Days of Our Lives scooped him up while he was sitting idle after GH became the only one of the four soap operas to have a jab policy. Days showrunner Ron Carl Lovati, of course, knew Steve Burton from when he used to be the head writer at General Hospital. Ron was at GH from 2011 to 2015, and then he landed as the head scribe over at Days and 2017. So with Carl Lovati helming Days, you know, that could be why they reached out to Steve Burton. That's my guess. He inked a one-year deal with them in October 2022, and his first air date there was in March of 2023. That's because they shoot about five to six months ahead over at the NBC Peacock soap opera. And apparently, Burton thought he would be staying at Days of Our Lives. He actually said that a few days ago. But then they let him know that they weren't going to renew his contract. And after that, Steve Burton said it worked out great because he landed the comeback gig as Jason Morgan. And he said they were able to get the details and everything ironed out for that deal pretty quickly. So he wrapped filming at Days in December of 2023. And then on January 4th, 2024, we saw the big Jason Three Doors promo. And if you saw it, you know they used Laura Wright and Kelly Monaco, who play Carly and Sam, to introduce the concept that when one door closes, another opens. And bam, there was Steve Burton walking out of the dark and fog with two of his prior leading ladies to tease fans looking all, you know, Jason-esque. But then the questions started coming. When will Burton be back as Jason Morgan? What's his first storyline? How long is he staying? So, We have finally got firm answers to one of these important questions, some info on the other, and then really no idea on the how long he's staying part. He did say he wants to finish his daytime career at General Hospital, and he said he hopes to to be around still for two or three more years. So we'll see. The first thing to know is Steve Burton is officially on the set shooting new scenes as of this week. You can see some shots here of him. We're going to drop him. He is in the ring at Vol. Nino's gem, but I'd be stunned if that's the first place he shows up when he's back Port Chuck, right? Uh, with him filming this week and GH shooting four weeks ahead, you can pretty much do the math and figure out that you'll be seeing Jason Morgan soon. His first official air date is Monday, March 4th, 2024. However, I do know there's some political stuff that starts that day. So not to scare you, we may start out his first day with a preemption for news coverage. We'll see how it goes. There's somebody big heading to court that day. I'm not going to get into it because I don't talk politics here. So that is exactly two months after the stunning reveal made during the General Hospital 60th anniversary primetime special. So January 4th to March 4th two months from reveal to debut. As to what Jason Morgan will be doing when he hits Port Charles, well, we've got some more info on that too. So first of all, we'd heard that the two ex-head writers that were recently let go or left of their own volition, depending on what you believe, Chris Van Atten and Dan O'Connor, we heard that they were axed after there were other issues, of course. I mean, we all know there's been issues with the writing for a while, but reportedly that was compounded by what I've heard was a less than impressive return storyline that they cooked up for Jason Morgan. And of course, they spend all that money and effort to get him back. They want a big bang storyline. And if they let the powers that be down, 
might have been the straw that broke the camel's back. So there's other chatter hinting that that's why Steve Burton's comeback as Jason didn't happen sooner than March 4th, because what was written was scrapped and they had to go back to the drawing board. So Elizabeth Corta is one of the new co-head writers. She was promoted from within and has been with GH since 1995 and co-helming the writing team with her now is Patrick Mulcahy, who is an absolute soap scribe dynamo. I am excited about him. So I will say the one unfortunate thing about this return storyline is it's been confirmed to be an umbrella story. If you don't know what that is, I'll just tell you it's one of the types of storylines that General Hospital loves to do that the other soaps generally don't engage in because they're usually bloated, frustrating, and go on for far too long. Basically, it takes what should be several independent, smaller storylines and kind of forces them all together, shoves them all together so that you've got all these different characters interacting that maybe generally don't interact. What it also means is that it moves slowly because there's so many people involved, so many moving parts, and it usually lasts way longer than your standard soap plot, way longer than most viewers want to sit through. And considering how many plots GH already has going right now and how slow they already move and how many storylines they abandon this tidbit has me a little bit worried. So Burton teased a bit of the plot for his return and called it both sick and awesome. I think by sick he meant cool and not he's going to turn up sick unless he was being literal. He said the pieces of the puzzle are going to be fit for when I return. I don't even know what that means. It, it just sounds like word salad to me that last bit. So we expected to see a glimpse of Stone Cold aka the former Jason Quartermain before the end of February sweeps or right at the end of February sweeps, but no, it's going to be a week after that, which pretty close. That's all right. I certainly hope that they clear up some of the other lingering storylines to make room for this umbrella plot before sweeps ends. This week, we've got the funeral of Spencer Cassadine. We've got more on the return of Jagger, aka Agent John Cates. We can only hope they're about to reveal who's gunning for Sonny since that's been going on for nearly a year without resolution. We've got Brennan back as they're dredging Pikeman back up again, and we have Carly dealing with a very angry Drew. Sam's happily canoodling with Dante. Liz seems happy with Finn, although a lot of fans would like her to be free of him. Uh, and available to get back with Jason, but that seems like a long shot. So with literally a month to wait to see him, are you excited? Are you excited to see Steve Burton back? I expect in, you know, two, three weeks that we're going to have some firm spoilers about his return. Last we saw Jason Morgan, he went down under a pile of rubble in a tunnel in Greece. He was swapping gunfire with Peter August while trying to protect people that he cares about. So clearly he's been somewhere for the past few years. And with Victor Cass Cassidyne dead now, but alive back then, I suspect he might be blamed for some of Jason's MIA time away from Port Charles. I also wonder if this means we'll see Leslie Charlson back as Monica for Jason's homecoming. You know, for reasons I still can't fathom, they brought her back when it looked like she was not feeling well at all for part of Finn's malpractice thing. I mean, that was a big fat nothing burger other than them using it to mention that Carly's stock scheme might have also hurt the family suing Fenn. Not sure if they were trying to prop Nina with that mention. I, it was very strange. Bringing back Leslie Charlson for Bobby Spencer's memorial made sense, but it didn't manifest. It was really weird. So I do hope Leslie is feeling well enough to come back and have some scenes with Steve Burton so we can see Monica loving on the young man she raised as her own, Jason Morgan. It would certainly be a better use of her time than the fan stuff, right? All right, so we are on the countdown to Stone Cold, Monday, March 4th, 2024, pending any news preemptions. We will let you know more when we know more. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely drop your comments and come back soon. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.